Welcome back to the Blue Empire. I'm your host for today, Mike Slot, and uh, we're playing some Tales of Zestiria. And I've actually already gone through an entire run through of this just because I was doing that and it was fun. Uh, and so I decided that I'm going to record my NG Plus run through. Because I'm not going to do it as much, or I'm not doing it nearly as often as I did my normal playthrough, and I didn't want to stream that. So, I'm going to be recording this. Uh, it'll be 25 minute, 30 ish minute chunks, kind of like the way I was doing Fairy Fencer F. And I'll still be doing Fairy Fencer, uh, so don't worry about that, and the streams will still be normal, so. That'll be a thing that's happened. So, I actually have all of the stuff that I can get right now that I want to get. I want to get this one, but that's 8,000, and I don't have nearly enough points to get it. So, um, and also I don't want to spend a fuck ton more time trying to get 500 more points to get the second max health. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started into my NG+. Here we go. Uh, yeah, we're, there's an intro cutscene, so I'm going to be quiet during that, but, uh, here we go. The Legend of the Shepherds In a bygone age of myths, when darkness threatened to enshroud the world, it was they who reclaimed light from nothingness. Over and over, as the world plunged into chaos, the legend would come to people's lips, and they would pray for salvation. And lo, each time a shepherd would appear to vanquish the darkness once more. But with peace returned, it was never long before the shepherds would vanish. As for where they had gone, no one can truly say. And, as with all things, oh. eventually they faded into legend. Okay. Now watching this, this that part, he once again, makes more sense. The world faced the threat of the darkness. Literal darkness. They do that all the time. People began to speak of the See, the problem with this game was it was locked at 30 FPS, which is what this cutscene's locked at. Actually, I do have another uh, mod I have to add, which will help fix any of the coloring issues. But uh, for now, we're going to go with this, so. At least for the first episode. Kind of just wanted to get in, get to a save point, all that stuff. Oh, forgot to mention, I brought all of my cosmetic items over, so. If I were to go... Here. And I were to go... To that. This is what I'm supposed to look in this situation. But, I'm gonna go with... What I like do. At least that, um... No. Uh... Where's the belt? There it is. Yeah, that'll do for now. Battle actions. I don't need that. Okay. 
need that. Wood like that. Quick banish, banish chain, 30 hit bonus. All of that. Okay, that'll have to do for now. Support talent, I want, yep, point of interest detection. Yep, I know, 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 fuck. Oh, you peep. So see I have alternate colors and stuff for the other characters. But I have a mod that currently makes this thing run at 60 FPS and oh my god it's so much better. Uh, running it back at 30 FPS was like, like this camera over here? That bad. I am the shepherd. I knew it. A hero brandishing the sacred blade. This mural is a depiction of the shepherd. Aha, uh -huh, I won. Mikleo, fuck you. Uh oh. About time I found it. Book. Nothing on my end, Soray. Mikleo. Looks like you beat me this time. Cool and shades. <laughs> That's this the little pet dragon. The shepherds have been around since even before the era of Asgard. I knew it. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. We still don't have definitive proof that this ruin itself is pre-Asgard. It could be an imitation. Seriously? You really think they'd make a fake ruin of this scale? Get real. Mm, you never know. This doesn't bode well. Wait, isn't that? I think our ruin adventure is over for today. Come on! This way, hurry! What's the hold up? Hey, we have to get out of here. Ugh. See, I don't remember seeing that the first time I played. Ugh. Yeah, that was too close. Could I get a little help, please? <laughs> and we're falling. Twin flow. Surging currents. Twin flow. Saray. That didn't go quite how I planned it, but not too shabby. Am I right? <laughs> Guess this makes us even. Close enough. Unbelievable. Who knew there'd be ruins underground? I did. Oh, good thing we fell down I here. I knew. Right. Hey, let's try and find a way out of here. I'm not gonna skip through any of the story just so that mm -hmm. you guys can watch oh, it, but... Yeah. I know most of this already. So I'm actually going to delete all of these.
That way I'm starting from Fresh, fresh, press, really? See, like, okay, this is cool. Because that little tre treasure, treasure chest thing in the corner of the screen there, that wasn't there before. So that actually tells me how many chests I have left open in the area. Which is really nice. Whoa, it's been nothing but heights oh, all day. Oh, sorry. But I had an awesome bar relief to distract me. Yeah, I bet you did. Hmm? And that is it looks like someone's friend, lying there. Alicia is her name. Her name is Alicia. Hey, she Nicolia? won't tell us that till later. Hmm? It's it's a human. It can't be. But it is. Stop. And she has shitty amount of resonance. We shouldn't involve ourselves with their kind. Oh, oh She's god, the glitchy cape. We can't just Oh her. god, the glitchy cloak. Oh god, it's so bad. Fine. I'll give what help I can. Let's take a look around the area first. Okay. I can do... Did I unlock anything new? I also brought all of my items, not these, but all of these. Oh, also you can now, I can now store up to 30 items. So 15 used to be the max, and now it's 30. I got Celestial Record System Book, Enemy Book, Skill Book, Discovery Book, and uh, yeah, you also, I'm also a thousand health higher. Didn't have those before, but these are all. Why did it, did it not bring uh, over the rest of my? Oh, that sucks. And only brought over the Windmaster talismans. I wonder how many Windmaster Talismans there were, because I could have gotten more. It's too late now. Yeah, my sword's all sticky. Cobwebs everywhere. I bet no one has set foot in here for some time. And what's wrong? Shh. Wait for it. Hellions. It's huge! What is this thing? Quit gawking and get your sword ready. Ready? Strike! How's what? this? What? Ready? How's this? Wait, hold on. It can't be a Hellion? A Hellion? For real? I've never seen one in person before. What could a monster like a Hellion be doing in a place like this? It's getting away! Wait, don't you remember what Gramps told us? Huh? Hellions? Yep, yeah, Hellions. Horrible monsters that are created by the Malevolence. They can only be defeated by the power of purification, which not but a chosen few can use. So if you ever cross paths with a Hellion, just run as fast as you can. Remember, you two, common folks like us don't stand a chance against those fiends. Yeah, we can't beat a Hellion without the power of purification. Then we should just be glad we escaped it. And anyway, we have bigger problems. Hmm? 
We have to hurry and save that girl before something worse finds her. Is that a monolith? Four chests. Three chests. Ready, Min? Cleo! What? Ready? Where my no escape! Be gone! Strike! It's what? over! In dreams! Be gone! I always no keep I keep trying to do are you safe, Serena? My other tanks. Oh, that's what I was gonna do. There we go. That should make a big difference on how easy these things are to beat. That should make it more interesting to watch. Uh, a lot more ragey. For I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. That human probably got caught up in all the lightning just like we did. More like the other way around. We have her to thank for all that crash boom bang. That lightning. That was Gramps, wasn't it? Yeah. It's a Crap. warning to invade. Boom bang. Chicken. One more step. <sighs> That's my fireworks. Sorry, Gramps. I can't just leave someone who needs help. Huh. This is turning into an eventful day for once. That was a cool monolith. We've had quite a bounty of discoveries today. If I'm not mistaken, that stone is a lot newer than the surrounding ruins. Yeah, it's from a completely different age. It read like advice of some sort. Most likely it's a guidepost left by previous visitors to aid fellow travelers. So we're not the only ones who go around investigating ruins. Humans have terms for them. Things like adventure or explorer. Explorers. <laughs> I've missed those. I think. Ah. I'm ready. Ready? Strike. Whoa. Strike. Try this. How's Take this? this. Be gone. Try this. It's over. It's over! Yeah, this is much harder. Strike! Come on. Too close! Yeah, strike! How's this? Take that! <laughs> Shitterbang! Hang on! Strike! It's over! <laughs> Who's next? Ready? Strike! It's over! Hang <laughs> on! Strike! Take that! How's this? Breathe bang! I won't lose! I won't lose! Are you safe, Saray? I'm fine. Twenty-two apogee. I just saw a monolith written in ancient tongue. So did I. So. Weapon ready. Be gone. No escape. It's over. Let's take them all down. No escape. So I want to check my arts. Shatterfang. That's what I want. Okay, I am slowly unlocking those. If I were to choose semi-auto 
I want twin flow. Nope. I want that to be resilient aid and that to be ice reaper. Okay, put you back to auto. What's that? Interest, I heard it. Let me... Alright, I'll come back to it. Oh, it's up here. encounter a stronger foe. I don't have to do that, I can already free run. So yeah, actually, currently I have a lot of movement speed. Ha, What's see, this? That, okay. Whoa, what the- That glove? I'll be taking this. Is what I'm wearing currently with it, we'll never in get the out of alt here. color. I'll give it back once we return right there. safely. Uh, right there. <laughs> there. On his hand. So. Look on his hand. I have it. I'm wearing it. You can't take that away from me, I'm already wearing it. Wow. So close, but it's still so far. Think we could jump? Only one way to find out. You're not well. jumping that. <laughs> okay, maybe not. And... Hey, watch out! Don't scare me like that. Sorry about that. It's an invisible bridge. Well, we definitely can't make it from here. There should be a connecting point somewhere. Let's go back and see what we can find. Invisible bridge. You actually move quite a bit faster when doing that diagonal run. I see. Huh? Haven't figured it out. Yeah, I have. Who would have thought that you could walk in midair here? Or that an invisible bridge would be here. Think it could support a person? Well, well, aren't you sharp today? <laughs> For a change. Psh. Seems safe enough. Yeah. This bridge is incredible. How do you think it was made? 
I think this is beyond the capabilities of human technology. So, like, the bridge alone might date from the era of the gods? Possibly. But either oh way, Lord. they definitely had assistance, whether from Seraphim like me or someone else. They really didn't want anyone to reach the other side. The path ahead leads to Elysia. It stands <coughs> to reason that they do what they can to protect the Pure Land. In the past, any pilgrims who showed up at the shrine probably thought the gap was simply uncrossable. Same as we did until just minutes ago. But good job picking up on that. Your intuition is always impressive. Oh yeah? For its rarity. There we go. I knew it was too good to be true. I love the quips in this game. Alright, I'm going to end the episode here, and then on next episode, which I will continue playing, and I'll record the next episode after this, we will go talk to Alicia. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys want to see more. If you do, leave a like. I don't really care if you do, but the more likes, the more comments, the more it gets spread, the more people see it. So if you want to grow the community, your choice. I don't care. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm Mike Slot from Blue Empire, and I'm signing out. Bye!